Hi, Cowichan. It's Alec Wheeler, Events and Membership Manager with the Duncan Cowichan Chamber of Commerce, and we're here with another session of Biz Banter. I have with me today Bob Vanderford of Vanderford Photography. Bob, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's great to see you, if, if only virtually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Now, Bob, you've been running uh, your photography business part-time for uh, about seven years, and then more recently, um, you've gone into full-time, uh, and then the pandemic hit. So talk to me a little bit about um, what you specialize in in photography and how the pandemic has impacted your business. Sure, absolutely. We specialize in family photography, pet photography, um, headshots, uh, boudoir, and portrait sessions. We do lots of portrait glamour sessions. Um, and so we can do it in the studio outdoors. And, and thankfully, the, the stuff that we do specialize in, it can be done indoors or outdoors. Of course, with the pandemic, um, it uh, locked down all of the parks. So we had really limited our access and the weather hasn't been great anyway to do the outdoor stuff. And it was a little harder. We did have a studio at home and uh, we've recently uh, preparing another location that we're going to launch in, in the heart of Cowichan Bay. Um, possibly the only photo studio that's waterfront studio. And here we go for the big zoom. <laughs> wow. Not bad for out the window of the studio. Yeah. So we're really excited about the location. It's really good. Um, we're right down in the heart of Cowichan Bay uh, next to True Grain. To the right of True Grain, the building there, there's the Mudroom Pottery and then Gentleman's Chair Barber Shop, and then us, and we're on the waterfront side. It's, we'll have some signs up in the near future so people can actually find us. It'll be good, yeah. So, yeah. so the pandemic has affected us, but now that things are easing up, we can, we can start to get rolling. We've already started a couple of photo sessions, so we're going. Great. Now, you've got a really interesting uh, promotion coming up for our local grads. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, we do actually. Um, unfortunately for the grads this year, as we all know that this grad year isn't going to end like any other grad year. Basically, they're sort of getting ripped off. They don't have the, uh, you know, the, the, the pomp and the circumstance. So what we're going to do, um, especially with the, the girls who end up buying these gorgeous, expensive gowns and now they don't have anywhere to showcase them, we're offering, we're going to start out with 20 free sessions. Uh, to with us for photographing the, the grad and, and whatever outfit they want and and, and the uh, each grad will get two free digital photos from that session and if they want they can purchase more but the bottom line is there's no obligation and they get a session they get some really professional photographs of uh, their grad and their and the grad outfits if they want. Oh that's great and of course they've got the option uh, I'm guessing of, of studio or location if they want to do a location? Absolutely, yeah. We can do location or studio. Our new studio is big enough now that it, it, uh, the COVID restrictions were fine. We, with the lenses we use, we're more than six feet back um, all the time. And we've got all of the, the safety precautions and protocols in place at the studio. So it's safe. But again, um, outdoors, it seems to be more popular, especially in our area, in our neighborhood, because our, our outdoors is so beautiful. Um, why wouldn't you take advantage of it? Well, okay. and, there's our studio you know, now with the uh, with the million dollar view. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, and of course, you know, you mentioned that the weather hadn't been good up until uh, somewhat recently, but of course, we're moving into the summer, and um, you know, maybe there's an opportunity for for families out there or groups to get a little bit creative and do a, a social distancing uh, photo shoot. Um, that could be a great way to to mark a pretty significant point in in history i think for all of us so um i can i can see some real opportunities for creativity there and, they, and yeah and they've also you know relaxed the rules a bit so family you can be bigger groups so we can do the, the family thing for sure and i think it's important for this has shown us how important family photography is because there are no guarantees you know mm -hmm. the, with, with what covid did and how it's destroyed lives and stuff and and you're right this is like to mark it's always important for, to family to have photographs of the family hanging on the wall because it's forever and it and it just showcases your family at this particular time and, and the love that they have for each other and it's you know i just think it's just so important now more so it really is evident to have those photographs 
I, I agree. It's funny, you know, people ask that question, if there was a fire in your house, what would you grab? And aside from, from the people and the pets, my photographs, that would be the first thing I would go for. Um, Absolutely. And, uh, they're, because they're, you know, you can't replace them. And, um, you know, so many of us have photographs on cell phones and stuff and try and find the photograph or whatever, or there's no guarantee your, your cell phone's not going to die. Where, you know, photos on the wall, you know where they are. You see them every day and they, and they touch your heartstrings, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, um, any, any thoughts or words of encouragement you want to uh, uh, put out there to the community or the business community? Well, you know, we're, we're going to survive. We're all going to survive. I th you know, things are going to be different when who knows how long they're going to be different. But um, absolutely, we'll, you know, we'll get through this. I mean, it, it's been a tough go, but I think that light at the tunnel hopefully isn't a train. It's just the salvation to get out of the tunnel and get back to life for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So, Bob, you're offering that great uh, promotion for for the local grads, um, but you're also open for your regular uh, photography, family portraits, headshots. Um, I think you do boudoir as well. Um, and you can do on location, but you've also got the new studio coming online. So if people want to book your services, how do they get in touch with you? Uh, the easiest way is through the website. It's bobvanderfordphotography.com. And Vanderford is V-A-N-D-E-R-F-O-R-D. Mm -hmm. uh, or you can reach out to us at 250-686-9518 and Sandy and I will uh, will be take your call and be glad to help you out and then and organize something um, right. for sure like with the headshots we can we can either do headshots in the studio and we're also mobile we can go to your business and set up um, in a very small footprint for headshots or product shots we've actually since we've started working on here, we've, a couple of businesses here have approached us for product shots. So we're, we're going to be doing some of that as well. Excellent. Excellent. Well, listen, um, rumor has it you have some painting to do in your new studio there. So um, thank you so much for joining us today and taking that time aside. It's been a pleasure chatting with you and, and uh, looking forward to seeing your new studio at some point. Well, great. Thanks a lot, Alex. Thanks for having me. We'll talk to you soon. You're welcome. And that's been another session of Biz Banter with the Duncan Couch and Chamber of Commerce and Bob Vanderford Photography. See you next time.